Well met, lords and ladies, Jacob Butter speaking, and welcome back to another episode of... So, uh, yeah, just for the record, sorry this took a while again to start. Not been doing too well today. Uh, mainly headaches this time, but also my nose again. Whatever bug is going on in our house just keeps on replicating itself, it seems. Uh, I keep getting mild versions, but this version was a little bit uh, less mild today than it normally is. So, I don't know, what can I say? Uh, but uh, I have I have my remedy today. I thought, uh, oh yeah, hi, hi, Josh. Today was supposed to be a stream of uh, Rare, as was suggested by Josh. But I kind of thought that, you know, given that uh, my head already hurts, uh, Rare would probably be among the worst choices to subject myself to in my current state, considering it gives me a headache when I am healthy. Uh, so instead, we're going back to the same person that I used a last time uh, to uh, remedy my situation, and that is histane. Uh, so let's see if the uh, if our favorite hero of medicine, Jesus, can uh, help in this situation. Again, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the case this time. That, but then again, the other videos seem to all have a uh, biblical theme to it and tied to Jesus in some way. Then again, one of them's talking about Christmas, so that's kind of <laughs> that kind of goes without saying, I suppose. Anywho. Uh, it seems the restream is also updated to show that I am that to display that it's live streaming in 1080p. So hopefully that means people can actually see the thing this time. Uh, what do I know? I suppose we'll figure that out as, as as the time comes. So without further ado, on with the review. Oh, hold on. With one further ado, Aiden wants to join. Okay. <laughs> well, a moment. <laughs> Caught me just in time there. Uh, where are you? There you are. Okie dokie. All right, now we can continue. <laughs> that was the quickest you've ever joined. <laughs> uh, yes. I uh, don't know. I was just bored. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's that's completely fair. So, what are Number. we reviewing? Have we seen anything on this channel before? Uh, yes. You, you must, um. Do you remember the video, The True Meaning of Christmas? No, I don't think I was there for that stream. Oh, man, that is that that is one of my favorite gacha videos I've ever seen, that one. We also did another one of this channel, the first, the, the well, not the first, the earliest current video that is on the channel. Um, and uh, that one was uh, We Are Neighbors, which was a which was a somewhat retelling of the power of the Good Samaritan. So, yeah. <laughs> Very uh, New Testament leaning uh, channel, it seems, at least for right now. So I'm guessing that somehow that's going to tie in as a theme. But what's really impressive about <coughs> Histane, particularly, you know, criminally underrated creator uh, and anime, not 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 anime, but uh, you know, like as, as, uh, if anything, like somewhat simplistic editing, but. The kind of kind of the same way that we do things, where we like, oh, well, there's like more complicated stuff going on than people might realize. And it's just like those small details that are being added. Uh, it's one of those situations. Ah, nice. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, I forgot to read the description as well. If there is one. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, there is. Okay. So, true friends never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. Helen Keller. And then underneath that, the story is. In one particular school attended two best friends, namely Felicity Ainsley and Illumina Kadia. I think that's how you say it. Kadia. Uh, e I I E U X French. Oh, version. speaking of Helen yeah. Keller, did you know I learned some interesting stuff about her? Uh, no, this is the first time she's come up in our conversations ever, so yeah. go ahead. <laughs> pretty sure pretty sure I heard once that people mentioned why they kind of stopped telling a story at a certain point of Helen Keller. At one point she said um, disabled people should be euthanized, like, later in life. So, you know. 
pretty sure there was also some like some like anti woman stuff she said about women's rights at one point. So you know, fun times for what I've heard about her life after mm -hmm. the basic story we heard about her as a child. And I guess you know the later achievements. Yeah, later adults, achievements. Yeah, that's the that, yeah, yeah. But it's like one of those things where it's like. Mm, you know what? I do believe that stuff probably did happen. I mean, you know. I mean, I have to look into it in that situation because I... I hope not, but I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I mean, it does kind of... I don't know. I mean, for the time period, it does kind of make sense how she would say stuff like that. I mean, I'm not so sure because Mary Shelley predates her by like a hundred plus years. And so does her mother, Mary wait, Wollstonecraft. Did, they wait, were all fronts of that. Wait, was Mary Shelley the one who wrote Frankenstein? Yep, that's the one. And Mary yeah. Wollstonecraft wrote uh, A Vindication for the Rights of Man and then A Vindication for the Rights of Woman straight after. <laughs> Dang. Which was just like a couple of... Uh, a, 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 yeah, there's one book, so there's like documents or something. Can't remember <laughs> yeah, entirely. A book now. <laughs> All documents are books. You see... Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> just like the video died. Guys. Yeah, no, it's because it's because I tried to put the description up. I clicked in the wrong place. Uh Again, I'm not. I'm not fully. Okay, functional so, today, so today's I, video I, will be watching Jacob's area. face. Today's video will be watching Jacob's face. Um, yeah, here's my face. There you go. It is. So beautiful. There you go. Here's his, his, my face. Who needs, a, who needs that actual video, video when you just stare at a stare at a still image of Jacob's face <coughs> all stream? I, yeah, BB actually did mention recently that she needs um a like um, a a break page, which I presume means something the like this page. something like this oh basically. that yeah i mean i can make that for bb if she like sends me like her or if i like get her like got to a c i feel like he's a got to a c yeah it's 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 for the butter bunch well i have i have her um i have her OC still dressed as uh as vaggy from has been hotel but, okay uh, but i like i want her in an actual her normal outfit like why would she why, why just uh, why would i reuse bb and as dressed as vaggy for no i'm saying i can send that over because that, that's the only import that i have you know what I'll I'll ask BB one. what kind of fabulous outfit she wants you know and i'll make it look fabulous that's fair <laughs> hello to fox uh okay so here's what i was doing i was trying to put the description on the screen because it is yeah. a long one so yeah oh god so many words Blech. exactly all right so in one uh, particular school two attended two best friends namely namely yes as in the, their names are yeah but is, is namely even a term used much not not much, but it exists. Namely, Felicity Elliston. Elliston. I think that was Ainsley. I've got I'm I'm gonna re-import the video, so a. I'll check in a moment. And <laughs> Ainsley, yeah. Yeah, well I don't know. No, and Illumina <coughs> Illuma? Illuma? Illumina, I think. Illumina. Like the speedrunner. Cal Caldex? That's the one I struggle with. I think it's, that's Cadieux, because it's got the, the okay. EUX at the end for like the French uh, ending uh, of words sometimes. Oh no, my 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 arch nemesis. The language of French. I thought it was Emily's arch nemesis. Well, I couldn't say that orange thing for the mutant girl. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> Triggers oh, okay. PTSD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. They are both best friends ever since they attended elementary school. Since they were like the perfect sisters, because they are practically inseparable. After years passed by, Felicity started to change. She started spending more time with her friends than only her... Than she started only... to spend more time with her friends than her only best friend. Yeah, but like, come on, like, best friends are nice, but you should spend time with other friends <coughs> in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. I think the implication is that is that she's being ignored, although it could oh. be that she has separation anxiety. <laughs> this is, wait, this made Illumina, I can't say her name, sad and frustrated. How could her long lost best friend just leave her in the dust? Why couldn't Felicity ask her to tag along? Left in the dust. This is that happened every day causing that girl to lose her friendship with Felicity <laughs> a few days after a few days have passed ever since 
that girl comfort confrontation. She thought she hated Felicity for leaving her out, <coughs> but her heart said she couldn't hate her during recess. Illumina. That girl, Illumina, talked talked with Lillian, her close friend. Of is this just a synopsis about the video? Yeah, the more that I'm reading this, it more don't do it, it, like it. Let's stop reading this. I think this is quite literally a synopsis <laughs> of the video, like the whole summary, like a full on summary of the video. Uh, yeah. Yes, I thought, <coughs> in this Fallen Angel episode, Key and Key and Sam plan an attack on Zach and Ad, Zach and Adam in Alana. But then he passes out due to having a flashback to her human life, and she remembers her human past. She gets up, and they attack Adam, Alana, and Helen. We we see a brief scene of Alana and Helen flirting, and then Adam, Alana, and Zach all go to the park where they're attacked. After a long battle, after Zach fights his demons, he gets up, he flies over, and ha kills Key, saving Adam. I mean, you missed out all the details of the actual flashback, but other than yeah. that, yeah, pretty much. Listen, uh, okay, there's a lot of details in the Falling Angels episode that I, yeah, this, I have a hard time like summarizing everything off the top of my head. A lot happens. Uh, okay. You don't seem to struggle most of the time, because most Falling Angels scriptures are like one sentence each. Well, no, those are those are literal summary. No, no, those aren't summaries, those are synopsises. That, that's a summary. Summaries and synopsises are different. Synopsis just gives a brief overview of the main episode plot point. And even then, my okay. synopsis are vague enough where it's like, he, plans, he remembers her past or something like that. It's like vague enough where it's like, okay, now watch the episode. That's yes, what I'm saying. They're, and they and they usually usually one sentence. I just went to your channel. Um, yeah. And the synopsis is, Key finds out about her past human life. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, the way, that like... I, the way that I view descriptions most of the time is that is is that yeah, they should that there's there should be like something brief in there, especially if it's like a video you've got to put emphasis on, like a gotcha video, for example. Uh, so but you know to to possibly entice more people because it's kind of like the blurb at the back of of a book. You know, if yeah. like you're, if you're checking out checking out a book, you're usually as much people say, don't judge a book, don't judge a book by its cover. You see the cover first, kind of the thumbnail of the video. Then you, th th then you may you read the back off. if you're on the fence about it, and the, the yeah, back it, may or may not yeah, convince you. Take you. It off, you take it off the shelf. The back might convince you. For me, the description of a video is the back of a book. Uh, so, 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 that, so there should be something there of a little substance, but not that much substance. Probably not somewhere enough, in between Four Angels like, and this video. Yeah, because like that, was, I'm pretty sure that like they're breaking down full on scenes and full on moments. It'd be kind of weird if that was all the prelude, like everything that happened before the video started. Like, um, okay, like why didn't you include the scenes in the video? Well, you know, I just had to, you know, write in text. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. I mean, I guess, I guess, as um, as an example of what I mean, uh, one of the descriptions of the um, one of the descriptions of of the of the mutant girl videos, um, the mo the, the uh, most recent episode, uh, says. It's still very much the beginning of high school, meaning every club under the sun is still recruiting new members. For Moena, this includes rekindling an old passion of hers she thought she'd never be able to partake in again. Swimming. Oh, and theatre, I guess. Whatever. While things may be looking up for her, both Agatha and Julius must reach out to their loved ones. The former in a physical prison, the latter in a prison of the mind. Both resigned to their fate, for better or worse. Doesn't tell you everything in the episode, doesn't tell you how it resolves itself, but it does give like a brief bit of the setup for it. That's kind of what I go for with descriptions most of the time. So again, middle ground. <laughs> okay, let's actually watch the video now. <laughs> friend, you may best this friend. Yeah, your business, business, business. Anime. Well, and in one, one particular school. I... Were there were there possibly uh, two girls by Felicity Ainsley and Illumina Kadia, maybe? There oh my go. god! And two best friends, namely. Mm. Stuck in familiar. Is this wait? Did she just copy and paste like the script in the description? 
I don't know. Again, it's a, I Again, start copying and paste the script to Fallen Angels in every description. Like, here's the script. You want to read it? No, no. Yeah, I, I don't know if these videos actually have uh, a script for them per se. I mean, given what the, what they're like, I'd say yeah, they they kind of uh, they kind of approach that, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Illumina Cadia. Ulrich Cardia, I mean Illumina Cardia, that's what I said. Yeah, totally. Although very oh, close. Oh, that's a tiny... Wait, that man is... I'm, that man is small. Dang. Yeah. I think it's a sizing error, but you know, I could be wrong. But what, who I knows? Mean, he, yeah. lo he looks like a teacher. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so he's, he's, he's a teacher on a short king, yeah. He's like Professor Flipwick. I'm sorry, I have to go. <laughs> to you your pick mom. the one character who would say Illumina's name the most. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Too late now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we have a student council meeting. Illumini. It's okay, I understand. Also, I think the two extras just at uh, the front here just got together. Oh my god, I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> they shared the screen, it's all you need. Thanks. Felicity can sometimes leave Illumina behind. <laughs> she's running, but she's running so slow. That's running. Yeah. <laughs> There's a walking animation. Why should pick the running one? <laughs> yeah. Also, why does he look so? Why does he look so sad? If anything, he's getting what he wants right now. <laughs> also, why are we having like a freaking narrator saying this? Like, it's kind of obvious what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Fallen Angels gets a narrator. Key passed out. I'm pretty sure she's having a flashback to her human life. <laughs> Key was a soldier in the WAAC. Pepper and George like to play outside. <laughs> just like, just like, just a freaking summary. Like, oh uh, god. Like, we don't need a narrator. Yeah. It's weird with a narrator, especially the visuals are carrying it. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking of visuals, this this sort this sort of looks more um, yeah, this this sort of looks more this more like underwhelming compared to the one that the video that came before the We Are Neighbors one. Although I guess that might be because We Are Neighbors mostly had. What I, that's seemingly custom backgrounds and a few more angles as well. On top of it, this one kind of seems like it must be a more of a, I guess, a low key production in a way. Anyway, I'm actually bothered about you not being able to review the first person of Pop Series. Dream Pop said it's okay. Um, yeah, so for context about this, um, Josh sent me a video to, to look at, uh, which was the new Dream Pop series. Um, and I, I was and, and I said I, I thought okay why not I'll do this at some point once I once I return because I one day I was off and the next day yeah um, but then I looked at the video and it was fifty five seconds long and I was like that's I mean I know that we like to stretch content here on Gotcha Review but I even mean, I think I'm, that I'm gonna be honest bit, I'm gonna yeah. be honest the only time we're able to really stretch content out like that is if it's like like, really short content like that, if, like if it's, like, really bad content, or, like, content with a lot of obvious, more prevalent issues. Exactly, yeah. Like, Taming like, the Bad like, Boy is like a good example of that. Like, Taming the Bad Boy had a lot of prevalent issues to discuss with every single thing aspect of the story when we're not talking about random stuff. Yeah, that is, well, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, well, let's be honest, most of that early gotcha review was talking about random stuff. I cut out a lot that was in there. Yes. But uh, but but yeah. Other than that, yeah, it was um, um, I, I I doubt the video is that awful. So I'm probably gonna wait until at least one more episode has been released. Uh, Do a twofer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, unless this this video is only five minutes long, or well, actually, it's more almost six. It's almost six minutes. So depending on how fast we go through this one, maybe we'll spare some time for uh, <laughs> for, for for dream pops and just I don't know, post that separately. But until that point, uh, KWCO. Hi, did I miss anything? 
Um, mm. well, um, well, okay, so there was one there particular were... school attended two best friends, namely Felicity Ainsley and Illumina Katia. <laughs> they oh. were both friends ever since they attended elementary school. Some say okay. they were like the perfect sisters because they're practically inseparable. <laughs> okay, <laughs> stop the... reading the, the summary, God. Okay, so there was a, like a, a description in the bottom, but it was just a summary of the actual episode. And, um, yeah, like we were like reading it, I was like, oh, God, that's that, these are actual scenes. <laughs> These are actual scenes. It takes longer to read the description than it does to watch the video. <laughs> oh god. Two best friends. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. So uh yeah, pretty much uh, you know, two best friends, one of the one of whom has a more active social life than the other one, and the the first one kind of feels left behind. Now that I'm saying that out loud, that sounds like Rainer and Julius. Uh we'll see how that goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Felicity didn't realize that Illumina felt neglected. Communication okay. is key for best friends to have. <laughs> That's kind of up. Okay, you know, it, I mean, it would be it would be concerning if she knew that she was being felt that way. Um, if she didn't know that, I mean, okay, but like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was already implied that you should kind of already knew. Yeah. I th I, th I think this this is still this is before the uh, True Meaning of Christmas uh, era. So his stain, I think, was still kind of not sure how much to not spell out to the audience uh, as of right now. Anyway, it came to the point that Illumina just saw her as a stranger. Ooh. Really? They were hanging out together like not two scenes ago. Also, I thought the rain is just stuck to the is stuck to the train is not like moving. I know it's a filter, <laughs> but still. <laughs> One day, Illumina had enough of this fiasco. Why don't we see her on screen? I noticed that this was like a low-key production, but it does seem like... It's this too is... low-key. Like, yeah. like, when you take the words low-key, you know, you didn't mean that low-key. Yeah, so, uh, Aiden, you, you asked if this was going to be like an anime before. Well, I, I think so, because so far we've had mostly, uh, mostly stock footage and recycled animation. That feels like anime to me. Yeah... <laughs> Like it's, it's not like I love anime because they try to make sure they're um, stuff that they reuse and everything like that make it at least different and make it more like not make it more unique but at least different and you can tell like yes it is the same stock footage but they made it different to um but uh, depending on the scene or whatever so hmm. you know I I, yeah. I just certainly hate. Hey, when it's just like keep using it over and over and over again, and there's like no changes whatsoever. I'm like, can you just add a little bit more details to have yeah, subtle differences? <laughs> yeah, and for the record, West Animation has that problem too sometimes. But the first, but you know, most of the time people talk about the anime side of things. Mm -hmm. The first time I noticed that was actually when I was watching Gormiti, uh, and I just realized like, huh. That scene of people fleeing from the volcano. There wasn't a volcano in this episode, was there? Oh, that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you will see that kind of... My child um, brain processed that and was like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> I have seen those a lot during, like, Black Clover. Like, finally, Black Clover got more interesting as, like, the latest episodes have come out and everything. But, like, dang, when I was, like, first watching the beginning of the series, like, I could tell, like, most of it is like flip filler, just not really as intimidating. Like, sure, the world building is good and all, but I feel like every time there's some bad thing happening or whatever, they're like going on this whole total another adventure. I'm like, wait, what about this big bad thing we have to deal with? It just gets so annoying. Yeah, I thought you were going to say for a second that the characters get too sad and then they focus on the episode on that instead. <laughs> not really. Okay, if anything, good. I think the only thing that is really annoying is that... Hey, what did you want to talk about, girl? Illumina. No. Girl, I can't say your name. This is why we're not best friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault your name's so weird. <laughs> oh, there, oh, I was right. We're done with this friendship. There you go. Oh, <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. Dang. Dang, girl. The edge. Girl, why? <laughs> <laughs> can't you see? No, I can't say your name. That's what I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> what, get to spell it out for you? Oh, wait, that won't work either. 
you always leave me behind. <laughs> why, is, why are you saying it like that? It's kind of weird. Are you all right? <laughs> you always prioritize others over me. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault. At least I can say their names. <laughs> that makes this worse. <laughs> That makes this worse if you say their names and not mine. <laughs> That's the problem here. It's not my fault. It's like I'm not even your best friend anymore. Well, I mean, you just said our friendship's over, so of course, of course, we're not best friends anymore. We're not even friends, apparently. <laughs> and people you say, "I'm not." <laughs> yeah. I Go was on. just gonna say, and people say, "Fresh of this match, like, wah ha ha ha." Mm -hmm. I love my little well. pony. Uh, that's like my middle. friend who I can't say your name of. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, Illumina could be a pony name, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's, it's to do with light, so I suppose. I, think I it's mean, like... it could be something like Aluminum. I think the etymology is Enlightened, which, you know, again, tying into the theme. Like, okay, keep suppose. in mind, with My Little Pony, you have like a, lot, a few characters like Starlight Glimmer, Sunset Shimmer, Twilight Sparkle. What would it be? Aluminum. Uh, It'd be like something they morning. Aluminum uh, gleam. Aluminum gleam. That's that's the new <laughs> Twilight rival that all oh the my God, name imagine. is game. Aluminum or, gleam. Or, or, or twinkle. <laughs> Aluminum twinkle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's uh, we 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 the the channel now has now has a uh, My Little Pony OC. It's uh, took long enough. <laughs> okay, you you are not fit to be anyone's best friend. Dang girl, you uh, you have some issues. Okay, I'm sorry to have separation anxiety, but like, dang. There was literally a Smosh video about. Hey, uh, W, the... your voice in blonde girl now. <laughs> okay, uh. Well, I was gonna say there's a Smosh video um, where um, where they forget uh, this guy's name at a party, so they just keep calling him dude the whole night, but they overemphasize it. And then, mm -hmm. and then the punchline, of course, is like, oh, I, look, I guys, I get it. Dude is a weird name, okay? I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, apparently KW uh, has been recast mm. as KW doesn't voice anyone right now. What do you mean? Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Like who has to be like? Oh, she didn't cast. Who did I replace? <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were trying to say. Oh yeah. No, you voice this character now. As in, like, okay. Never mind. You voice Carry on. Oh. Uh. I'm still voicing girl who can't say her name. Mm-hmm. Go. Oh. Wait. You actually said that. Why did you just read it like? Okay. Dang. <laughs> I don't know. I yes, Lillian. So, Illumina has other friends as well, clearly. Oh. As How dare me. you! Yeah. You're leaving your best friend behind, girl! I can't say your name! Y yeah, so... Um... I mean, bear in mind, we've, we've only seen... Can... We've only seen Felicity, Felicity so far hang out with one other person, that guy from the beginning, who seemed to be, uh, a, you know, shadow-faced boy, but smiling as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so... I, again, uh, like at least one shot that wasn't stuck in my photos that would be like her and like a, a group of people potentially would have solidified the the difference. But something feels off. Let me guess, that's KW's line. <laughs> Oh, so sorry. I, 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 like, I can't tell who's who's voice who anymore. It says like, L. <laughs> you voice L. You voice they just longer, don't have girl. They just don't have the. Okay, fine, whatever. You were good saying that. I yes, actually. Dang, girl, I read, you like I read the I automatically. <laughs> it's like I. Yes. No, that's not right. Anyway, I don't know why I feel like this. Cause you have issues. <laughs> oh, uh, because oh. Um... is such a kind and horrible person. <laughs> it's not like Blaine for most popular girls at school. State, 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 state. state. <laughs> 
<laughs> she gives people more chances than they could ever deserve. Okay, wait, why wait, why is he saying this? We oh you know we could have actually shown this, but no, we had to have a character a character say it. That's the problem with the short story, is that you don't really have time to develop the characters in this way. Um, then don't so... make it a short story. Okay, like, yeah, this, 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 could this, be this is this is story to, like, this is to 101. If you're going, like, make sure the length of your story is long enough to tell what you're trying to do. Do not go over ambitious with a short, go over ambitious in a short story where you don't have time to tell its thing. But also don't have don't have very little story in a long run time too that doesn't work either like or very little story very little characterization don't have very little of that because then it's like you know kind of kind of got to fit the length of your story yeah i think the compromise here probably would have been uh if this if this had been a two-parter for example so if, if we if we had like a part one before this of you know the two of them uh as Thirsty seems to sort of drift apart and then you know uh, to be continued cliffhanger prob probably would have been the moment on the roof that would have been a good moment to to cut as in you know uh what do you need to talk about Ziliana? this friendship something needs to change boom <laughs> then we get to this part and then we've seen versity as she is already so we kind of know <clears throat> not only what kind of person she is but also why that she became best friends with lumina to begin with uh but yeah mm. Mm. The magic work on to huh, Kian? Keanu. <laughs> Keanu Reeves? Oh, by the way, <laughs> Keanu Reeves, I'm pretty sure, is voicing Shadow now in the new Sonic movie. So yes! <laughs> John Wick is Shadow, guys. Let's get that trend in. No, 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 it's Neo. It's Neo who's voicing Shadow. That is, that, that, that is both horrifying and <laughs> perfect at the same time. <laughs> Well, at least it's not, um... Oh, what's his name in, uh, Bill of Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Oh, my God. If they had chosen... I thought you were trying that. to say, you know, at least it's not, you know, in, like, a different actor or something. I thought you were trying to go that direction. No! Okay, yeah, at least it's not his from Bill and Ted. I don't know if he's Bill or Ted. I forgot. Mark? <laughs> no, but when you say Chris Pratt, I'm like, oh, yeah, thank God he's not... Look, I'm sorry. Yeah. For those who love Chris Pratt, he is not a great voice actor, as everyone seems to be. Even I'm head. Shadow the Hedgehog, bogus man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Chaos control. No, no. <laughs> if Shadow, if Shadow the Hedgehog says bogus in the next movie, not like in that voice. I mean, just like in his general Shadow voice, that would be perfect. <laughs> no, like in Chris Pratt, do not touch Shadow the Hedgehog. Franchise, please do not. It's the only good thing I have. I never saw Mario because I think you as Mario is terrible. I don't think I ever will ever see the new Garfield movie because of your voice. I'm sorry. You may be as good as watch it in Japanese. <laughs> you know, I will say, I will say the one celebrity who I didn't mind voicing Garfield was Bill Murray. I thought Bill Murray did really good in like the live action. Oh, Garfield yes. Movie. Why not Bill Murray? Why not him? Yeah, well, well, oh, oh, because Bill Murray got duped into playing Garfield. Oh, oh, yeah. Ha! So, uh, so because I, 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 I think the name of the director of of the Garfield movie was like Ethan Cohen or something, and he has a very similar name to one of the Cohen brothers, who are two very famous directors. Bill Murray signed on thinking like, oh, well, the Cohen brothers are directing this. Turns out, forgot there was an H in his, in the guy's name, uh, and uh, was stuck playing Garfield for two movies because of his contract. So, yeah, <laughs> he's not going back to that character. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. EA Sports to the game. <laughs> I can't do that in real time. It didn't, didn't load properly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hi, Vaughn. <laughs> also, look at that face. That blonde girl got a smile <laughs> face. Yeah, like, oh, how magic worked on you, I see. <laughs> oh, how magic worked on you, do tell. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no, no, no. I messed up big time. <laughs> see, it wasn't I there that time. I should apologize to her before it's too late. It's been less than a day. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
that is the... I have been doing that one for years, in all fairness. <laughs> anyway. The following day. I'll give I'll give Estane credit for this. At least we see like the uh the the, the good old Gotcha Life walking cycles. <laughs> well, the, you know the the one thing I really miss from Gotcha Life. Gotcha Life yeah. too was supposed to have that, but no, we just get the custom poses. Yeah, we'll be fine <laughs> with that totally. Wow, the custom poses. <laughs> That's just what I thought of when you said it that way. <laughs> the claw! The claw! Uh, El gancho. That's what I sound in Spanish. <laughs> right. Oh, this is you, Aiden. Oh. Uh, 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 sorry, I was scheduling a video or a short. Why did you call me here? Uh, uh, uh. I can't even say your name, girl. Uh. Okay, what, what, <laughs> why have you summoned me? Also, uh, also, the fact she's sitting in Caesar right now kind of makes me think that, um, <laughs> It's like it's like one of those martial arts movies where someone's thinking up to, up to, to you know challenge like this this really uh this really keen master or something, and the master's like on the ground meditating in Caesar because in Caesar you've got you're partially prepared anyway to uh, uh to to stand up and fight. <laughs> it's just like it just lays down her bag and like takes a stance. <laughs> <laughs> well. I wanted to oh. apologize. Okay. My anger got the best of me. How dare you have other friends? You should only get me as a friend! <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I take back the Raiden and Julius comparison. This is what Raiden and Julius could have been if Julius actually cared about like the expanding social circle and seemed to, and thought that that was the reason that Raina was uh, changing so much. Uh, which was not the case, <laughs> besides that. Anyway. I started spotting out cruel work with you, it's just that... You've been feeling left out, girl, I can't oh, so name of. So she did know then. I thought the whole, the, the, the narrator said before that, that she had no idea. <laughs> oh, I knew, I just wanted to make you feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Her true, her true colors. She's like, <laughs> she she pretends to be everyone's friend, but is only in it for for herself, and only one person can see through. She's Lila, basically. She's become Lila. Oh, I'm no. the good version of no, Lila. No, 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 not Lila. No. The good, the good version of Lila is anyone. <laughs> like what? Yeah. what? <laughs> no, no. My name's actually like Cerise or whatever her potential real name is, which we don't even know that that's her real name. It's Cerisa from Rip in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my own real name, and I also may or may not have three different moms that may or may not also be my mom. I don't know if any of them are my moms. D does she have my... three different moms? I can't um, we have, I wonder we've how seen, she enrolled in the school. Then that's that, that's my. We have seen now. Lila with three different women's that women that she called her mom, which I'm guessing that's because she keeps lying to them. Like she, they, they, they could be paid actresses, essentially. No, no. At least, the, at least the uh, mute. At least the. Is that think it's mute? No, wait. Death. At least the deaf one. Like she called her mom, and then she hung up, and the deaf one came in, and like they like talked, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I was talking to my agent. I'm going back to Africa or something. I don't. Know. I forget where. I forget where she was lying, but where she was going." She's always think, lying yeah. about something where where she going. So I mean, the details the, the details aren't important. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's she has said she's been to Africa. So that could have I don't know. It's one of the many places she said she's been. Maybe. 
Okay. Okay. My point was that the the that the mothers that we've seen her with could have been paid actresses. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I suppose. My question, of course, you get is how they enrolled in the school. But then again, I have the same question about Kawaii Chan that never get answered. But she also has actively lied about yeah. being in another country to get out, physically going to school. So. Mm. They still had to process the paperwork to enroll her. That's what I, mean. that's what I care about well, here. That's, that's what I mean. That's that's kind of unavoidable. I mean, uh, although I do find a Kawaii thing funny because they call her Kawaii on the name roll. Like, I mean, exactly. even, if, even if she's going by a nickname, like, they would, at least on the first day, they would call her by her, her like, real name, and then they'd be like, oh, no, call me Kawaii Tan. Yeah, they have they have to legally register her that way, but then afterwards, of course, yeah, that's that's that, that's how I've seen it in in most uh, establishments anyway. Felicity, I'm sorry. What was your name again? I can't remember. <laughs> I <feel> this meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does she can't remember? She can't pronounce it. That's the thing. <laughs> like... How do you say your name? Is it like illumination? Are you like a, are you like a studio? Oh, did you make the minions? I'm, oh my God, I'm such a minions. <laughs> I'm damn Popper Meyer. Anyway, uh, that's is that. Uh, <laughs> hmm, I'm a, I'm such a fan of the cynic. What was his actual name again? Uh, I can't like that. I don't know. Same oh, that's that goes my friend same Muella. Same <laughs> anyway, that's a K-pop song. Oh, okay. I'm sorry if I overreacted. Change the if for that, and then we'll, we're good. Your oh, moment of reckoning. It's okay, Lumina! Not yours, I meant Aiden. Oh, but... well, okay. I, I can't <laughs> tell! I thought it was Aiden, but then you said it's your time to shine, and then... Yeah, no, but just, yeah, saying that your moment of reckoning to Aiden, I think he's distracted or something, or busy, I don't know. But... There's something I gotta tell you. What is it? I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm moving away. <laughs> I'm moving away soon, and you won't see me again. I'm That's in love with you. I'm friends, not just me. <laughs> I'm actually lying to you 24/7. I'm evil. So are you lying now about the fact that you're evil? <laughs> I'm lying to you. <laughs> I'm not evil. I'm so not me. I, I would I would love it if like there's a scene in a future miraculous season where where Lila like comes clean about everything, but yet but but then as she's explaining what's going on, everyone's just like, wait, so you lying now? <laughs> are you lying now? Or are you li are, are you lying about the pet? What are you lying about? <laughs> She's like, no, Ivan, she was telling the truth now. She was lying back then. But how do we know that? <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> Dude, so I am so glad we finally have Lila be caught in so many lies. Like, it was so annoying me. I'm like, can we just please well, for I mean, once? What, what annoyed me about the writing was the fact that they made every other character stupid and make Lila look like smart and like a good liar. Like, she's not even a good liar. She's not telling good lies. They're just making, they're just lowering everyone's IQ, and that's like the kind of lying I hate. Like that's why I didn't have they look. That's why I didn't have the characters lower, uh, like lower the characters around Lilith to be like, oh, she's so good at manipulating people. Yeah. So what if everyone's acting stupid in with scenes with her? But yeah. she's in good the, at manipulation. <laughs> It, no. If I'm, yeah, it's, it's been a while now, but in the first episode that we saw her in, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I kind of get it. But in order to maintain that momentum, they kind of sacrificed everything later on. <laughs> or everyone, I suppose. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm the lost ultra rare hybrid princess. <laughs> so, Fox would say that might come true. It's not that kind of gotcha life video, I don't think. Oh, I'm, I'm pregnant with your baby. I'm mm. nearly James. Boom! I got it! I knew it! Oh, moving away! Oh, <laughs> are you telling her God. now? You're telling her <laughs> last minute now? Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> even what? when my head... Even when, when I'm sick, my oracle powers still work. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't have oracle. How dare you? Give me your oracle powers. Is that is that why you haven't sent me in the, the line yet? <laughs> I've recorded them just before starting the stream, actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got, I got to edit the, uh, I got to process the audio to noise reduce it a little bit, and then hopefully send that in. Okay, cool. Okay. 
Uh, okay, Aiden says Predator Jess is moving. I see Dying Fox not very high, Princess. Yep. Oh, hang on. I've got to. Well, listen, I just jumped to pregnancy as a joke with characters being randomly pregnant. You like, always I'm, go with pregnancy. I'm pregnant. Like, dang. Like, lesson. Yes, yeah, you're. Stupid, it's a stupid. Oh my god, Aiden is pregnant? Oh no! Yeah, I, I'm pregnant with a food baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Considering how exactly. religious the uh, creator of the of uh, this channel is, definitely could never, definitely could only ever have been a food baby in that situation. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. I, I ate food and I became the next Virgin Mary. <laughs> uh, oh, not where I was going with that. Oh my. <laughs> Listen, okay, God works through mysterious ways through my stomach. And apparently if you... <laughs> I'm not going to make a money joke. Never mind. I'm, I'm not going to bring it. <laughs> Save it for to... the inevitable expose on Maddie. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got to part seven in the script. <gasps> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Wait, does people actually know? Have you said something about making this video? No, no, I haven't. Well, that's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, which is yeah, which which is kind of strange because 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 like you know because like Maddie posted something where she thinks that I've like left her alone or something. I was just busy that day and didn't bother responding to anything else. I sent like, you that. Uh, uh -huh. Did I send yeah. you that? Well, yeah, I, <laughs> yes, you you did send it to me, but then also you you also sent me stuff like that came out like after that where she's still talking about me, so she's still saying things despite the fact she has no idea this that's anything that I'm preparing anything. So. <laughs> Man, I, she doesn't know. I don't, I don't think she knows about all the jokes they're making about her. Well, I don't think she watches these streams. I mean, even even the stream we directly called her out, like that, the, all that time ago, she watched the beginning because it was about her series and had to leave and then didn't watch the rest of it. I mean, if Josh is still here, he probably will tell Mighty about it, but eh, who cares? Hey, I don't think he's here. He would have said something in the chat a while ago. I don't know. He might be what? typing at the moment. <laughs> Like, why are you going after Maddie? She is a good, honest person because she's Christian and she loves Jesus. Hmm. You know, and I love this my food, I... baby. I love my food, baby. Oh, see, there ah! we go. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Like okay. I said, he was typing. Like I said, yes. I, like um, I said, I wasn't planning to make a Maddie joke. Okay, I, I, I said I, I don't. I'm not gonna make that joke because I don't want to keep bringing that joke. Yeah, and 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 for the, and for the record, she's still publicly talking about me, so doesn't exactly. Oh, cool. You know who else is dealing with stuff? All of us. All thank of us you. are dealing with stuff. Thank you. Thank you for my TED talk. I know this is shocking, but we all have a lot of issues, IRL, you know, and even like, online. Get, what do you yes, mean? You yes, <laughs> I had someone a panic attack, and then Aiden called me, and he has calmed me down. <laughs> like, I didn't know she has a panic attack. I'm just psychic like that. I'm psychic. Oh That's your this. oracle powers. Your oracle powers are <laughs> people's emotions. Mine is. <laughs> Listen, you know. videos. yours are more useful in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so she's moving apparently. That's great. You know, she's like, oh my God, I'm moving. Mm -hmm. Tee -hee, I'm going to be an exchange student. Where? Are you going to Canada? So you can. <laughs> no, no, no. Ana, Ana, Ana. She's going to Africa, but never. Oh, yeah, like Lila. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Africa <laughs> to, to meet my um third mom that may or may not be my mom. And also, I may or may not be wearing a wig right now and have, like, really short hair and be, like, known as a movie star. Dude, what's so your just, deal, just, just, just so you know, girl. And I'm totally not lying about that. Wink, wink. <laughs> if she was noted, <laughs> yeah. That that that's, that does raise a few questions. She's noticed. Well, that does okay. Then. That that is kind of confusing <laughs> about Lila. Like, are people so stupid that a wig would make them be like, "Oh my god"? I, I, I meant I meant more so. Just you need to like demand more attention from people if he's known as a movie star. Is what that's what I was that's what I was thinking. It's like, yeah, I mean, I find I it weird, that, that, I find weird that that one of her potential personas or one of her re her her real persona is actually a movie star or whatever. <laughs> I find that weird. Being like, girl, how come you didn't, how come no one pointed out, hey, you look like a movie star with just slightly longer hair. Like, the hair color is very similar to each other. Instead of having, like, short, True. dark brown hair, you have, like, long, like, light I brown hair. Like, lighter shocked. brown, slightly lighter brown hair. It's like, um, girl, you look basically the same without a wig. Yeah, to me, yeah. the only thing I was shocked about that was that she had short hair and then being like, oh yeah, I'm an actress. I'm like, wait, what? 
What is like, the real story? I mean, that one kind of makes sense because, I mean, she's constantly playing parts, so... I, yeah. I know it may kind of make sense, but also, if you're a famous movie star and people know you, um, how do you how do people not make the connection between Lila and Cerise? Like they don't yes. look very they look very similar. There's nothing about them. It's not like it's not like she puts, ah. puts on colors con colors contacts. I mean, it does it, it does depend because like if you saw someone who looked like uh, like a celebrity in real life. You put like that celebrity, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do, and then move on potentially. Yeah, but also, but they a don't lot of a, a lot of people celebrity. over here, a lot of um, a, a lot of like ginger men and boys get, hey, do you ever tell you look like a Sheeran over here? That's a very common thing to say, and of course, is that Sheeran British, like that. by the way? Yes. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Listen, I keep seeing memes about Ed Sheeran. All I see is memes about Ed Sheeran. Well, uh, fair enough. Well, uh, what? If what I see are his clones. His multiple clones. <laughs> Everyone ginger is Ed Sheeran, guys. That, that oh. is what people say, so it's not oh, a really? question that someone would have been like, yeah. You don't even have to be the same gender as Ed Sheeran. You could be a girl. Wait, to wait, wait. The, wait. To, and to the like point it. where, well, okay, that's a bit, that's a bit extreme. To the point where, <laughs> you can have um, long flowing locks in PS yeah. Sheeran. <laughs> okay, but by the way, yeah, the, 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 joke, the joke got to the point where in the film yesterday, remember the film yesterday where the guy like gets hit by a bus and uh, apparently like the rest of the world is a memory of a bunch of pop culture stuff, including the Beatles, and he goes on a mission to recreate them. There was a trailer for it like a while ago. Uh, yeah, Ed Sheeran's in that movie as himself and and the main character's parents i think his dad says that to him similar to look at like like a sheeran because it's such a common thing to say and of course he doesn't know it's like the actual ed sheeran so that was where the joke got subverted oh there we go okay bond is what i'm talking about that's the reason they bring that up <laughs> i haven't seen that yeah seen it has it has that. it has more layers than just the dad being stupid Ooh, I could try Assassin's Creed or Bosch before April 31st for free. Ooh. I mean, my brother is ginger, although he has more of like a red, uh, he has more like a brownish red kind of ginger, so it's not like a bright orange kind of ginger, mm -hmm. like Ed Sheeran. Wait, wait, wait. Does that okay. mean the Whistleys are Ed Sheeran's? Dis <laughs> They're all Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Every single one of them is Ed Sheeran. Yeah, if I, if, 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 I, if, if I had to guess, and this is mere speculation, that uh that like ginger people got called like you know ron slash one of the weasleys uh before ed sheeran kind of blew up and hit the mainstream and then it, it pivoted to ed sheeran after that that's my guess <laughs> that was you know uh, all <laughs> before red -haired, I moved here. all red-haired women are daphne blake uh yes we're forgetting <laughs> they're all daphne yeah. <laughs> yeah back in the 60s that's what they were all saying yeah <laughs> there we go scooby no is gonna be I right, dang it! I was going to make a parody well, of the Scooby Doo song of Ed Sheeran, and it doesn't work. Gosh Ed, dang it! Ed Sheeran, <coughs> do, doobie do, where are you? I found twenty five gingers. Okay, Ed Sheeran, uh, doobie wait. Doo, where are you? I can't find you anywhere. But Come on, Ed Sheeran, <laughs> where'd you go? I just want your hair. Okay. Come on, Ed Sheeran, don't you know I'm gonna sniff those locks? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. You know what? Let 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 me let me try this. Okay. Scooby Dooby Dare dyed my hair because Ginger's how I'm feeling. When wow. I walk the street, some guy I meet says I look like Ed Sheeran. There we go. That's how you do it. Wow, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, uh, this is why this is why I meet Aiden and Jacob. They know how to make better parody music. <laughs> Again, I've been doing it for years. I'm going to be an exchange student. Yeah. Why are you so happy about leaving her, girl? I mean, that boy looked sadder hanging out with you than, you know, she does <laughs> than, than she does when she's, like, telling you the news. <laughs> <laughs> she really does. What the heck? Okay. Uh. It's okay, girl. I don't know. <laughs> Name of... <laughs> 
were just saying that for a year, girlfriend. Hold on, who, who's, who's we? You and the boy, or you and your family? <laughs> me and my boyfriend, who may or may not get pregnant. Oh, there we go. We. There's the question. Oh, okay. It wasn't the boy. It was that. It was me Keanu and Reed. Ke Keanu. He's playing <laughs> Shadow. That's why we're. That's why we're doing the exchange student stuff. It's because we're going there so he can record the Shadow lines locally. You know, oh. it's just something that has to happen. You know. I mean, also, there's, like, a John Wick filming he has to do at one point, which we may have to move for, like, another year or two for that. So, like, that's going to be fun. Oh, don't and forget then, um, the Matrix 6 and the prequel. The yeah, like, like, every other Matrix movie, uh, like, there's, like, 20 Matrix movies in the works. It's, like, crazy. Oh, I heard he's also going to be in the new Jaws movie as well, where he... Where he, well, yeah, he's he actually going to be the work. shark in the Jaw movie. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> Like, he's actively cosplaying the shark, but, like, the only way he'd play the shark is if they let the shark have, like, the long, his long, luscious locks. I mean, I felt it kind of weird, but also, but also the shark looks fabulous, you know? You Sharks with human out. teeth are already horrifying enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, just imagine someone already the and putting, like, Yami's hair on a shark being like... <laughs> <laughs> this is Kanato Reeves' new role. Yeah, you know, if I if I had to guess, that's probably why they they shaved Victor Crumb's hair in the Goblin Fire movie, <laughs> so they wouldn't have to do a transformation of brush shark sprouting hair when he transformed back. Oh wait, guys, uh, guess what? Keanu Reeves is is playing as Godzilla. We're moving to a place in America called California. Cause we're California. Am I? We're California oh! girls. Oh! We're California girls. Yeah. I, yeah. I knew one of you going to sing that California girls. It was either I don't you. even know the song. It's still the term California girls. Hey, look, yeah, given, given, the, given the choice between California girls and Star Kid, I'm going to pick Star Kid. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, are we going to finish the Harry Potter musical this this uh, Thursday? Or are we going to, you know... Uh, I, th gonna... I, I, th I think we should. We're on a roll with that one. And we I want to see to... more I wanna see more of Eldridge. 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 Umbridge? Who's Eldridge? Umbridge. I think he means Umbridge. <laughs> Umbridge. I want to see more of Umbridge. She's my favorite <laughs> so far. I love her. She's like my favorite. Everybody <laughs> loves Umbridge. Oh, Everyone oh, loves my dude. <laughs> Everyone Umbridge. loves Umbridge. Okay, I think it's... Everybody I, I thought you loves Umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Umbridge. Honestly, I think it's just because she's my favorite. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, bestie. Wait, I, I don't mean to say that... <laughs> Wow, Com commitments! You committed now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's on camera. Bye, Bye. Have a nice love in the California, in the USA. In the, Cal oh Cal God. In the California girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, the reason Bond's saying watch Love Like on Butter Bunch is because uh, they watched ahead uh, because they liked the first episode so much on Gotcha Review. Which, by the way, great that that happens sometimes. People should check out this in the description of these videos. By the way. Um, but they, they watched ahead, and it turns out the next scene gets a little bit uh, too explicit for the main channel, so oh. probably will end up shifting that over. Yeah. Oh, how explicit. They were talking um, to in a bad boy episode 12 kind of explicit. Ah! <laughs> um, the way that... The, the, way, the way that Bond described it, it was sort of nebulous whether or not they fade to black. Oh! oh. Eh, eh, eh. I forget the exact wording, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay. Oh, oh, they, I can't ask Vaughn here. Okay, well, I don't know if Vaughn had them, right? Vaughn, if, you, if you're still here, remember, you have to actually bounce. If you've read Throne of Glass and Corathor and Roses, which one is worse for Love Strike? Is it Corathor and Roses bad or Throne of Glass bad? Does Vaughn read? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't normally read. <laughs> to be honest, Aiden, if you ever actually read books, I think you're a kind of guy who will read Court of Thorns and Roses just because how descriptive they go. Hmm. Fair enough. I haven't okay. read. I haven't read either. Oh, dang it. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We know all like, 50 Shades Okay, Okay, do, but... do they fade to black or not? That's my question. Is it 50 Shades of Grey bad or... I mean, oh. to be fair, 50 Shades of Grey didn't even show much. Why are uh, you DMing me, bud? Although 50, Shade, 50, 50 Shades of Grey did great. mess up by the fact that they had him use bondage on her using zip ties. and like zip ties oh, they, they do not. They do not uh, say the black. The only thing they messed up on, but that is an example for sure. Yeah, okay, this know, is listen, what they did. Okay, do not use zip ties. It on your wrist, especially because oh, yeah, if no, you mess up when taking them off, you'll slit someone's wrist and they will black. bleed out. It's not fun. Hmm. Oh, god, that you will dark. get hurt or die. Die with dark. <laughs> do not play yeah. with zip ties. Anyways, <laughs> I want you to do something for me while I'm gone. While we're gone, I'm like a fond DM me to talk about how bad I was. I'm like, I'm not, I'm trying to ask for Jacob. I want to at least help yeah, Jacob. Like <laughs> no, 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 like, like, I'm not like, like they did me before. I just didn't remember exactly, so I just wanted to know if they fade to black or not. And they said uh, no in the chat. So there we go. That's how bad it gets, and that's why it's going on the butter bunch at some point. Uh, I'm doing you to spare the digger. Okay, okay, fair enough. I thought so. I thought so. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. A anyway, so yeah, back back to this. I'm moving away. I know that you felt abandoned for a while, but hey, do me a favor. <laughs> and hey, I know you may feel more abandoned, but you know. I'm just sending you what. I said in the private chat, so Ann knows. Sure, what is it? I'm okay right now, apparently. <laughs> what is it? I'm okay already. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Not after when you send me another chat. Like, seriously, are you trying to get me so many chocolate videos? <laughs> that's not the... <laughs> That's that's actually that that's tabaxi chuckles. Regular chuckles is like regular chuckles is something along these lines. Tabaxi chuckles has a bit more of a slide to him, <laughs> like a slide whistle. You like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> actually, kind of works. <laughs> it it does, which is so bad. <laughs> You saw I could do when you sounded flustered. Oh, Ashley. No! Stop! <laughs> I will throw a Krabby Patty at you. I'm adding that one to the list. <laughs> oh. I can look at that's, that's a Krabby Patty? I know. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, They're I like guess... little gummy Krabby Patties. I guess they do have to be fish sized. <laughs> Didn't think of that one. <laughs> Anyway. A friend? Yes. Yes! I'm up with you. <laughs> <clears throat> A friend who listens. Okay, I'm guessing this is, uh, you know. Oh, God! Head when she actually does these things. It smells! It actually mm. smells. Like what? There we go. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> the Krabby Patty smell. What is this? It smell like fish. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like bubble gum. <laughs> okay. I'm not I mean, joking. What? Well, look, we we believe you. <laughs> A friend who supports you. <laughs> Get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, that went right on my nose. Oh god. Ah, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I think she's dying. Okay. I'm trying this crummy body. A friend who gives chances. Yeah, I'm like so you. Hard. You just gave up immediately. Like, dang, girl, you didn't even talk to me about it. You just gave up. This is supposed to be a gummy? It feels so hard. What? How? What? When? When did she get a black eye? Do we, do we do we skip a scene? <laughs> I got I got I, I got beat up because um Skipping I kept details. on like entering the stage <laughs> while people were performing in a talent show. <laughs> One person was like, "Get out of here!" Do I just take this Krabby Patty apart or just eat it one bite? Don't eat it; it's poisonous. <laughs> Uh, well, it, it, it depends. You know what? Try like a small, well, as I say a small bite, it's a small thing. Try a tiny bite to see if it's like just full bubble gum or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need a bun. Okay. Oh! No! No! 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh... Um, you're right. Should have turned the know. camera on, actually. That would have been better with the camera. <laughs> oh, God. It did land Sour Patch Kid! Oh! I think she said Sour Patch Kid, but I couldn't quite tell. Yeah. <laughs> I think KW died. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and that was just the bun, right? So <laughs> You're gonna try yeah, to. Do you, want, do you want to eat more of it? I think it. I think you'll get better as you eat it. I'm sure the. I'm sure the rest of it neutralizes itself. What have they? What's they got there? They've got pickles, supposedly. Oh. Is that the bun? Is that, no, oh, that was the burger. But, why is it green? <laughs> why is it green? Um, I don't think it's good. Stop eating it. It's bad. No, no, no. You should try the cheese now. I'm trying to get the cheese aside. I only have the patty in a bun. Yeah, oh, wait, maybe. hold on. So, what was green? The lettuce? I guess that must have been the lettuce, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't well, you eat the, it. You know You're gonna die. Like. You know what the bun tastes like, so I guess the patty. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> not, not, didn't look that bad for a second. No, it's bad now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most expressive I've seen you ever. <laughs> Every moment you eat that is a moment you, you should die. Do it. You have to eat. Don't eat it. Food. Don't eat it. It's not good. It's bad. Don't eat it. Nope. You already know what the bun tastes like. But okay. <laughs> Did you get a vampire bite in your arm? Uh, I don't <laughs> know. I oh, man, I get. Is KW a vampire? No wonder she's not liking the food. She's a vampire now. Oh, that was worse! Oh, <laughs> Wait, it's all garlic based. That's why. It's, it's garlic. garlic. <laughs> You're <laughs> reacting to it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, KW, what did we learn about eating the Krabby Patties? I want to eat the Krabby Patties. <laughs> no. Tastes yeah, like it's so much kids. It's remind me of that meme, you know, where it's like, like, what, what do you have? A crayon, a weed. I'm going to police. <laughs> oh right, okay. I'm thinking. I think of a different vine. It's like uh, oh, knife. No. <laughs> oh god. I remember when they did the Afmo Emerald Secret outfit. It's like a knife. No. Yeah. I was I like, oh, up by a vampire. Oh, of course, Kim did got bit by a vampire. It is there, the fame vampiric mafia boss. I am a vampire. I'm not sure how people are gonna get that actually. I <gasps> mean, every if you've seen Vampiric War episode one, and if you've seen um, that's a that's a potential case. I'll be reaction in the future. And I'm gonna remake episode one. It's been that like, doesn't matter. Uh, KW can still react to it. Yeah, it, it, yeah, but it's Quinge. <laughs> Also, I have to recap voice actors anyways. What's more cringe, me eating a Krabby Patty or the vampire thing? Uh, I don't well, you know. Didn't cry, you, you think Krabby Patty was just funny in general. Honestly, <laughs> K KW, you should do a new series on a channel called Food Talk. Aiden oh, was it? No, Aiden, well, I was in the first episode of Vampire Quarrel. I was in the end credit scene. I was like the end of the episode. Like, I was the last scene. It was like... Where I said the line, "It's good to be king." Yeah, he was he he, he was teased. I was teased <laughs> at the end of the episode. I'm okay. I God. All right, so that was uh that was a detour. You know, I'm starting to think maybe we could have like fit a 55 second video in into a into a, a gotcha review with 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 this particular combination of people. <laughs> I think we can stretch out for enough time. And, and I think we're near the end of it. A friend who gives cancer. Oh. Thank you. You I would have sent you like a tease, but I'm gonna open it later though. After you send me the lines. <laughs> All right. A friend who needs my a friend who exceeds my expectations. There we go. I can't <gasps> read. Okay. God, I'm <laughs> <think deep. laughs> But tell I'm, me, I'm kind of digging the music here, actually. Dude. Yes, that is true. I'm, I'm more curious about about the setting 
because I do think this is a, this is a, a, a custom rooftop. I don't remember this one, this particular rooftop in Gacha. But I'm also wondering, like, she's on the rooftop now, but like no one else is here. If we're trying to show how she would be a friend, you think we like again try like surrounding her by with with people potentially somewhere. I don't know on the grounds at ground level. I don't know about <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Do, 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 do. See you soon. See you soon. Wait, wait. See you soon, Felicity. This is me. This is you. Yeah. See you soon, Felicity. <laughs> she jumps Wherever off the you roof. Are. She jumps off the roof. Ah! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> okay. She just she she tries to imitate Sean in the music freaks and you know just like floats away. <laughs> she starts floating, but then immediately is like, wait, I can't float. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> we should review oh. these creeps again sometime, though. We should. You know. You, you know what? And I've just had a. You know, I'm off the rest of the week. By the way, I'm off tomorrow and Thursday. Just, Wednesday and Thursday. I just had another uh, idea right. for uh, for a kind of musical day. series. Actually, um, if it, if it's just like one person. If you want to explore like abstract visuals, but also make a joke out of it, we should have like one main character who goes to a bunch of musical numbers, but is the one who's always reacting to what's going on, like just like <laughs> this person like, ah! just this, this person just is like a self-aware of the visuals around them. Is like ah, yeah, exactly. No way, that could be like a musical episode of All Angels. All the visuals are abstract, but you just have that one character who's immune to the spell. It's like. Ah, uh, what's happening? I, yeah, I, I do, I do want to do a, a musical episode of the Mutant Ooh. Girl, uh, a, 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 akin to, akin to that of Buffy, but um, but yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, I it mean, wouldn't be exactly Buffy because I imagine it would just be done in the format of a musical with musical numbers, rather with the than... same kind of philosophy behind the Buffy musical, which is you know songs like the Inside that no people don't emote in a particular well, moment, yeah. giving secrets. Yeah, but like, yeah, but obviously, unlike Buffy, it wouldn't be like a magical demon or anything doing that. I mean, it it well, it it, it depends actually, because if we don't if we don't address that, then yeah. But if we do a Fallen Angels one, we could actually time it so that they're, they're both the same, and then we can. And then oh my god, the world temporary, the world's yeah. temporarily been cursed to be a musical. So there like... you go. There you go. That's what I. Yeah, that that basically. Okay. I got a feeling it could be demons. <laughs> no. I like, my favorite song in that musical is "I Walked the Fire" or the opening yeah. number of Buffy, where she talks about her feelings in the graveyard. I love. Walk it's either fire. like going through the motion fire or going through the motion. Like those are my two favorite numbers in the whole musical. Of the episode. For Fair me, enough. I like uh, "Walk Through the Fire." Uh, something to sing about. Give uh, me something to sing about. And honestly, the rest of my piece on that one, that one was a banger. Fair enough. Why don't you let me rest in peace? Yeah, I have a I have a bias towards Giles, so you know, uh, that's <laughs> dude. Have, Giles, uh, but... he sings like, oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, I mean, not, not just like the, like the actual vocals, but you know, yes, there should have been a musical episode of Angel too. Honestly, that would have been a fun season five episode if, like, they managed to put that in somewhere, like a full-on Angel musical episode. Did Angel yeah. continue after Buffy? Or... Yeah, no, it, con it continued one season after Buffy ended. See, season four took place at the same time as Buffy season seven, and then seven. season five took place after Buffy season seven, after it finished airing. After Buffy season seven, it finished airing. Okay. Because that's why Spike came back, because Spike got resurrected in the beginning of Angel season five. Mm. Okay, yeah. I also gonna say like every time I listen to the Buffy the Vampire Lewis go like recently, I just think of FNAF, and I do not know why. Why? I <laughs> uh, I, I, I that I, I can't weigh in there, unfortunately. Literally, like like I can think of who is singing like the FNAF characters like like uh Freddy is uh Giles. I mean, Gra Grandma Freddy is Giles. Xander has been monitoring Gator. Did you say Grandma Freddy? I don't... 
Yes, there is a Grandma Freddy. Yes, no, they, they're animatronics. They don't have grandmas unless we're talking about the children having grandmas. That are imagine, them. imagine, <laughs> that, imagine a Grandma Freddy in security breach coming after you very, very slowly. She's just like a like a little animatronic walker. Like, oh, Grandma's coming to get you. Grandma's gonna make him some nice cookies. She's she's, immu she's immune to most attacks, but she's still super slow. That's how she's you get so away from slow, her. That's like, how you make the gameplay really... balanced. <laughs> just like, oh yeah. No, and then uh, Roxy is uh, what's her name? Anna? Anna? Anya? Anya, yeah, her. And then Chica is no, Chica is Anya, and then Roxanne Wolf is uh, Willow. All right. <laughs> and then Buffy is um. Well, um, but I, but, uh, my character. <laughs> oh, Mira. Mira. Okay. Uh, Mira? Yeah. Uh, Mira's canon, canon now, since FNAF as a whole. <laughs> and we don't talk about into real FNAF. I, and we no. don't talk about who Spike is. No, 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 no. We don't know. We don't need to know who Spike is. It's Nile, isn't it? It's the Nile. We love Nile. Well, when you put it in that way. I mean, who else would you be embarrassed to be associated with on the same level that Buffy was? <laughs> hey, time hey, you know, hey, you know, I was thinking about asking Bond to, like, have more Niles in future episodes of Secret of the Flag, but you know? And you know? it's a reason just to mess with KW. Just mess with KW. Just give, okay. give Niles more screen time just to mess with KW. Maybe maybe Niles says something flirtatious towards, towards Amira as a joke at one point. No! <laughs> <laughs> It'll be hilarious. <laughs> no. No. Uh, can we please continue with the battle? Mm -hmm. no, it's it's, it's, it's got to be Monty because Monty has the graveliness. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. Uh, they both okay. compliment <laughs> Mira at the same time. <laughs> they, 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 actually, they, have, they fight for her. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I love Mira more. No, I love Mira more. <laughs> oh. And, me, and, and, me, and me, me, meanwhile, Taylor's like, what has been going on here? Someone's like hacking into my systems. Did someone post their Wattpad <laughs> fan fiction in my database? No wonder everything's corrupted. Okay, let me solve this. They spend the time so doing that while while they have to try and contend with Niall and Monty fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Mira's like over in a car, just like, what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, I was like, at the end, at the end of the episode, it's like, wait, but the, the, there's only one more question: Who wrote the fanfic? The final scene, it cuts like one of the anomalies, and like, JM, JM, JM. She, she has to be the one who did it because she's such a nuisance. She would All totally right. do that. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Uh, anyway, okay, see, see, the I see the light. Yeah. I presume this is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is the end. I love yep. the fact that the description literally summarized the video. Yeah. I'm also wondering if the if um his name really chose stock footage that was all faded to pink here, or actually faded like color corrected to make it uh pinker than it was. Made I by mean, Stain, sorry by Stain. First thanks to special, It's Wendy Gotcha. Who is that? Maybe, maybe she's like a random background character, like her Gotcha OC. Uh, support for support me all the way through, and there's a channel in the description of It's Wendy Gotcha. Let's see. Man, the channel's probably deleted by now. Uh, well, the, the channel is the channel is now called Army to the Power of Seven. Uh, uh, of course, it has 574 subscribers and has zero content. It's so, probably yeah. yeah, it's probably which dang it, I thought I had a lead as to like someone who would know what happened to his stain. So I don't know. Is it like the channel the, the, the his stain channel has been dead since long before, you know, I found it. So yeah. I want to see like, you know, what what I what I see happens. Is there a potential for a return someday? But no. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was just messing with it, like, you know, so like, 
oh, happy chill music and everything. I was like, right, okay, so I'm going to turn this off. And it just went to a different mode. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Ooh, I've been playing in my delights. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know the, I don't know the moats, moats. <laughs> okay. I don't know where these backgrounds came from, actually. Does it say in here? Uh, it says where the music was from, but not, uh, don't see where the visuals came in. Maybe it's Wendy Gotcha had uh, had the visuals or something, had the stock footage. All right, and that was a friend. Da, da, da. I it was kind of underwhelming. Like I kind of get the sentiment, but like uh, I'll, I get what they're going for, but like it was underwhelming because it just one it was way too short for like the kind of, like I don't know. Yeah. The story had a lot more had a better premise than had a had a good premise, but I don't think it was executed the best in this case, unfortunately. Yeah, it's one of those cases where because because of how short it is, a lot of the stuff that it should have covered, it just kind of paraphrases. That's why the narrator was there at the beginning. And then afterwards it feels like, oh well, we have we we have the conflict for a moment. Then they then they fight. Then one person says one thing. It's like, oh wait, you know this what this is why you should have done this. Oh, I've reacted. Okay, I'm immediately gonna go back. It's like yeah, there's no I... there's no time to dwell on the emotions or anything in this case. Because in cases like this, it feels weird from a story perspective, because it feels like there isn't really I mean, I don't know, lasting consequences for any action, just kinda quickly move on from every action. It's like, okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting too many lasting consequences from a situation where two best friends like have a a, a, a minor disagreement and then they make up. That's uh, that to me is like, well, I mean, yeah, of course, there, there wasn't going to be much that came from that really, apart from potentially a little bit of uh, distrust. But then again, considering what type of person, um, what type of person Felicity was, there was no way that was ever going to happen anyway. <coughs> but yeah, as usual. As usual, the, the music was was great and fitting. The visuals a little bit um, a woman on the stock footage, but yeah, this definitely felt more much more like a low key thing than the uh, than the weird neighbors, and certainly far more low key than True Meaning of Christmas. We haven't got to that point in uh, the Histane uh, timeline, I I suppose, uh, which I suppose means I'm going to check when that actually comes up. Um... Oh, never mind. That that was literally the next video that uh, after this actually. Uh, so it was Truman Christmas movie teaser, and then it was the one we've already seen. Oh, and interestingly, there is uh, the the ones after that, apart from announcements, uh, are um, there's one is one called Love Your Enemies, a Gotcha Story Part One, and then of course Part Two afterwards, which means that yeah, this uh, I guess his day must have learned from that, and decided to do a two parter. So yeah, I, I'm. I think so. I, I guess it's kind of interesting because you know we went. I thought I see like a you know a bit of a middle point in this one. Uh, you know, from We Are Neighbors, which was you know classic Histane for sure, but not necessarily to the same level as True Meaning of Christmas. And then this one would be sort of in the middle. But uh, no, it seems like there was just a huge jump in quality. Uh, from from what what um... must it be from from November to December in one month. When people normally say they change a lot in one month in, in the Gacha community, they don't they, they they usually, you know, it's hyperbolic, but in this case I think it actually might be pretty accurate. Yeah, uh, I just yeah. just watched a, a huge update Gacha Club video. Apparently um they are having a lot of stress at school and stuff like that and they want to focus on other hobbies. And so instead of like trying to make a gacha series they are going to focus more on gacha mini movies. I suppose, but that was literally a year ago, so... Yeah, so I don't know what change. Or if they're still working on it, it's just taking a while long, longer, I do not know. Yeah. And I guess I guess for the record, you know, there's... um, 
that the the only thing that was the catalyzer series would be Unbreakable Faith episode one, the Faith of the Children, which actually, well, oh, actually, you know what? That one's actually I think the longest uh, Histane video, even though it's just an episode. So maybe that's why the difference was there. But yeah, it's the only time that I've seen like a one that's labeled as a series. Bear in mind, of course, that some of these videos might have been deleted over time. So yeah, I guess the uh, I guess the Histane mystery continues for now. Uh, so I I th I think that I think that is that. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of an hour and a half. Yeah, we can save uh, we should save Dream Pots another day. Uh, again, we'll do the we'll do the uh, the two for once. It's uh, what once that once that continues. Assuming of course that it does continue because I know Tree Pops just don't know the creative uh, project code process or anything like that. So yeah, uh, thanks everyone for uh, watching this, and uh, yeah, so uh, please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters, and subscribe to us already, and on that note, until next time, farewell. Oh wait, no, one more thing. Weirdly enough, um, hit, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the two videos we've seen before, the ones that were, was the better than this one before and after, I was expecting there to be some sort of religious tie-in with this one, and there wasn't, so for once, I will unironically say that this video may have benefited with some more Jesus.